Hi friends, welcome to the Easy Deploy YouTube channel. Here we will discuss cost optimization with the runtime of a database instance in AWS. For example, if you want to run your database instance only at a certain time like morning 9 am to evening 9 pm, but manually starting the database in the morning and stop it in the evening is boring, right? Sometimes you forget to start the database and it will lead the application downtime during work hours. But what if you set up an automation process that stops and starts the database daily at a specified time? Do you know how to do that? Don't worry. Here is a solution that will give you a very simple end-to-end -end process. AWS provides a service called System Manager, which we are going to use to stop and start our database in an automated way. So let's get into the details now. I'm in the AWS console and RDS database. Here, this is the database we are going to stop and start using System Manager. So this is the demo database. First step, we need to create an IAM role and policy to give some permissions on this database to the System Manager. So I'm going to search for IAM and click. On the left side navigator side, you can see the role section. Click on the role section and click on the create role button. Select the default one for the AWS service and choose search for systems manager. So we are going to choose the system manager for use cases and click next. So, Choose this one, uh, select this as system manager and click next. Then create a, we need to create a policy. Click the create policy. Click on the JSON and remove all these things. This is the policy. I will give it in the description. You can copy and paste it in here and then click on the next tags. Next review for the name, enter stop start reboot RDS. You can give any any name for your convenience and click create policy. So our policy is now created. Back to the create role section and refresh this button and search for stop start and you can see our policy is listed here select the policy and click on the next button and for the role name you can say the same name of the policy to this role Verify all these things and click on the create role button. Policy a role is getting created. Creating. Yeah, a role is successfully created. So for the next step, we need to create a system manager section. So go to select for systems manager. Click on the systems manager and on the left side section, you can see the state manager section. Click on that and click on create association. We need to create two associations for one for stop RDS instance and another one for start instance. So first you can select stop instance. You can give it a name for stop RDS instance and select and search for AWS 
dash stop and click enter you can see ADLA stop RDS instance. So select this and execution select the symbol execution. The instance ID you can you will you need to give your RDS instance name. So I'm going to open my RDS console. and select databases so this is our database this is the name of the database i am going to copy this database name and paste it here and automation assume role choose the one which you are created in earlier so stop start Reboot in RDS. This is the one we are we created previously. For the specified schedule, choose the on schedule and select the strong schedule builder. Select the one daily because we need to run this one for daily basis. So this is then um, this scheduler is uses um UTC. So we are need to convert it in our IST time. So you UST to IST converter and search searching in Google. So if you want, so this is one. This is our time, Indian Standard Time. If you want to stop our instance in nine p.m. Right. So I'm searching. Selecting here 9 p.m. It will give us into 3.30 p.m. for UTC. So, but I'm going to show you this automation working, how it will automatically. So, I just give the time 5 minutes later. So uh, now the time is 11.5 a.m. 11.5 a.m. So 11 a.m. I am choosing 11 a.m. 11 a.m. means 5.30 a.m. for U UTC. So I am just enter here for 5, five, five minutes later. So 11.10 in the meaning for UTC is 05.40. Every day at 5.40 means 11.10 a.m. at every day. And select this one. If you, if you do not choose this one, when you create click create association, it automatically run this command to stop the RDS database. So I'm choosing this one. And we can see it will stop the RDS instance at the time 11.40 a.m. And all that, leave all the other things is default and click create association. So it's, it's in pending state. It will trigger in 11 a.m. At the meantime, I'm going to click on another association for start instance. So I'm going to enter a name for start start rds instance here aws dash start and click enter you can see the aws start rds instance so select this one and follow the same process select the enter the database name Let's choose the PAM stop start reboot RDS on schedule daily and so I am going to give a name time for 11 50 that, uh, that time it will trigger the database to start so I am going to give the time for 0 5 
ஹோம் செவன் ஸோ லெவன் டுவெண்ட்டி மீன்ஸ் ஃபைவ் ஃபிஃப்டி ஓகே ஃபைவ் ஃபிஃப்டி அண்ட் செலக்ட் திஸ் ஒன் அண்ட் கிளிக் கிரியேட் அசோசியேஷன் so these two things are in pending state and our rds instance also is running status available so let's wait for 2 minutes and wait for the system manager manager to trigger the database instance so you can see here last execution date is time is 5:40 so 11:10 it will trigger the stop rds instance association to stop the rds instance so let's see if our database instance is getting stopping yes our database instance is getting st- stopping so our stop instance systems manager is triggering successfully our database instance so let's wait for another 10 minutes to trigger another database uh, system success systems manager to trigger the rds instance starting top rds instance association is success getting successfully and you can see our database is stop temporarily status <coughs> now it's a time so it's already 11:20 am so now the this start rds instance association is need getting triggered let's see yes it's getting starting status yep this is the way you can automatically start and stop your rds instance using system manager you can give any timing that you are convincing convenience using this simple process will help you to automate your database run timings and it saves the cost of the databases in dev and test environments when they are not in use thereby leading to a complete cost saving however keep in mind that although we are only stopping the databases and the storage costs for the databases still apply i hope you enjoyed this video if you want more videos like this please subscribe our channel and like this video If you have any questions feel free to write them into the comments I will be back soon in next video thank you easy deploy deploying cloud simplified